One wall, one wig, four looks. Let's go. You won't believe how easy it is to update your portfolio with winter portraits using just a wall and four looks from your closet. This cost us zero dollars and here's how we did it. So we decided to shoot at the local university using the infamous gray wall that we use for a lot of our content. The way the building is directioned is actually perfect for the lighting in the morning. We get nice soft light and it's great to work with. So that's why we chose that location. I decided to go with a specific wig. I've been going through chemotherapy and I haven't been working. So I invested in a few different colors of wigs. Not very expensive. It's only 25 bucks on Amazon. So I'm gonna go with the ombre wig for this shoot and for the four looks. I think it will look really nice in headshots and for updating our website. Here is a breakdown of our final shots and what I chose for each look. Let me know what you think. So here is our super high-tech wardrobe system. One wall, one wig, four looks. These are the four looks. And just like that, you too can be a rock star. This is my favorite look. And this vest is over 15 years old. I've had this vest since high school. It's Abercrombie. I absolutely love it. It's great in spring in Colorado because our spring is a little wintry, um, at least at the beginning, and that's okay. So I love this look, and it also covers up the hairline perfectly of my wig. So I kind of like that because I didn't spend on, you know, a bunch of money on an expensive lace front. I kind of like that this makes it look more natural, and um, it's beautiful. It turned out beautiful. Look number two. For look number two, I decided to go for the white and wintry Parkhurst cape coat. I just love this jacket. I mean, it's just a whole vibe on its own. You really don't have to accessorize it with anything. You just, that, I mean, the coat is just the look. Definitely wintry, so fun, easy to shoot. It just, I just love wearing it. It makes me feel light and happy. And I think that definitely shines through in the photographs. Ashley, his wardrobe tan change. Ashley now has two coats on simultaneously. <laughs> we should try a photo shoot like that where you have one half clothing and one, another half of yeah, a different clothing. Like a surrealist, abstract fashion take. That could be cool. Look number three. For the third look, I'm wearing this bright blue Worthington jacket. I loved this jacket because I knew the color would pop with the gray and I love the style of the coat. I thought it would look really professional for our website. We were looking for a headshot or a portrait of me holding a camera and I just thought, you know, it would look really good with the lighting and that's kind of what really, it's not design or anything, but I just love it. I love this coat. This is look number four. No, I'm just joking. For my final look, I wore the black and tan plaid coat by White House Black Market. I absolutely love their stuff. Really professional looking, clean. And um, I had shot, you know, um, a bright blue. I shot a brown look, shot a white look. And I thought, okay, black, it'll definitely make it a well-rounded set of photos. We'll have photos, headshots, portraits for any occasion. Um, I can update my LinkedIn, I can update my website. So yeah. Get some of your most professional looking coats, grab like four different colors, find a wall, and show us your portraits. I'd love to see them. If you'd like to see full behind the scenes photo shoots, you can check out our full YouTubes. If you wanna see little snippets here and there, you can check out our TikToks or our shorts on Instagram. And uh, you can also find our full length photography education courses on premiumlightacademy.com. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next episode. All right, friends, as always, thank you so much for joining us. Now, be sure to let us know what content you want us to create for you. We love getting out and doing this kind of stuff, and it's all about education. So leave us a comment down below. Let us know what you want to see next, and we'll try to take care of it. All right, that's going to do it for this time. We'll see you in the next lesson. Oh.